Hi, Dr. Erickson here. I wanted to cover with you a couple more items on peripheral neuropathy. The first one is, what is peripheral neuropathy? Well, if we break the definition down, periphery means the outside or farthest away from the center of the body. Neuro means nerves, and pathy means abnormal. So the definition of peripheral neuropathy is abnormal nerve function at the farthest points away from the center of the body. The farthest one being the feet. And that is why often we find neuropathies start with the feet. The next farthest would be the hands. And so now we find the hands being involved as well. The bottom line here, though, is that your nervous system is compromised. The nerves are unable to carry information to and from the brain and the body like they're supposed to. This is going to lead to the sensations that you're dealing with. Now, there are typical seven typical symptoms or signs of peripheral neuropathy. The first one is numbness in the hands or the feet. Another one could be burning in the hands or the feet cramping of the hands or the feet, sharp electric-like pains. You may feel like you have little jolts that shoot through you. Another one is pain when you're walking, difficulty sleeping because of leg discomfort, and the seventh one is prickling or tingling feelings. Now, I know that there are more sensations out there than these seven. These are the kind of the classical ones that I typically see. However, I have other patients who describe, I feel like I'm walking on glass all the time. And one patient actually described to me, she says, I feel like I have red-hot pokers that are being stabbed in and out of my feet. Ouch. Not good. Some other symptoms that I've heard patients describe to me is I feel like I have a, my sock is bunched up underneath my foot, or I feel like I'm walking on caked mud. Now your symptoms are actually going to be based on the fact of which nerves are actually damaged. And there's three types of nerves that I want to talk to you briefly about today. They're the sensory nerves, the motor nerves, and the autonomic nerves. Now your sensory nerves are just that. They carry sensation. So when you have damage to the sensory nerves, you're going to have altered sensation. That's where the burning or the walking on the glass is coming from. The tingling or the numbness. It's damage to those sensory nerves. Now this can also lead to unsteadiness and miscoordination as your body is losing its ability to understand and perceive where it is in space. Now the next type of nerve we want to cover is the motor nerves. Now mo motor nerves actually run to the muscles, and so it's the brain telling the muscles what to do. So when you have damage with the motor nerves, you're going to end up with muscle control problems, weakness, loss of muscle bulk, bulk, loss of dexterity. Some things that you may notice along the way is you may have difficulty breathing or swallowing because these are actions that are controlled by muscles. You may have difficulty or the inability to move a body part, like us in a paralysis, falling, legs buckling, you're going downstairs and for no reason you just fall because you can't keep yourself up. Lack of dexterity, that would be the ability to tie, to button a button up. I've had some clients that they can't get the button done. Some women have even related to me that they just can't quite get the clasp on their bra. If you're losing sensation in the fingers and if you're losing strength, you're going to be able to, you're going to lose function there as well. So lack of muscle control, another one may be that the muscle tone actually begins to change and the tissue begins to shrink and that would be called like a muscle atrophy. This one also can be, this category also would fall into like a restless leg syndrome as the muscles begin to twitch. You're getting abnormal sensations to those muscles and so they begin to twitch and they're irritated at night. Now the third nerve fiber that I want to talk to you about is called the autonomic nerve fibers. Now these are really important because your autonomic nervous system is what runs your body in the background. So if that's being affected, things like digestion, things like blood pressure, blurred vision, diarrhea, constipation, dizziness if you get up too fast, heat intolerances, you get cold and you can't warm up, uh, impotence with men, uh, urinary incontinence, a whole host of different things can happen as a result of the body not being able to control its main body functions. So this is some stuff I wanted to pass on to you. I hope it's helpful. Remember, if you want to get fully evaluated, you need to take the steps necessary to do that. I find most people are not evaluated completely. And as a result, things like peripheral neuropathy and other chronic conditions, they're not being identified exactly what's wrong. And so how can you help yourself if you really don't know what's going on? So this is Dr. Erickson saying, hope to see you soon. Hope this information was good for you. Remember, there's a lot more going on here than just simply your feet being numb. Thanks.